We have spent our month focusing on clearing the clutter and organizing the kitchen. Today on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out, it's time to celebrate our hard work as we discuss entertaining. What better way to celebrate all of your hard work with food and friends? Learn tips for easy and fun entertaining. Are you overwhelmed by clutter? Looking to organize your life? Do you feel stuck and are ready for a change? Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., join award-winning professional organizer and coach Julie Caraccio on clearing the clutter inside and out as she supports you in navigating the waters of decluttering your life and getting organized. Julie thinks outside the box and examines clutter in all areas, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, energetic, and more. Ready to live a more joyful and fulfilling life? Let's have some fun today. Many times after my clients have decluttered and organized, they want to show off their new surroundings. I believe clearing the clutter allows us to have a more joyful and fulfilling life. Sometimes we forget that, so let's plan a joyous occasion. Getting started. First, set a budget. Commit to keeping your budget. Next, decide what type of party you want to have an open house, a cocktail party, or an afternoon barbecue. Consider the level of formality if you want to do it all yourself or hire people. If you are going to hire people, contact them now to get on their calendar. Do you need to hire a caterer, babysitter, bartender, pet sitter, server, and entertainment? Is there anything you need to rent, such as chairs or tables, glasses or serving dishes? Can you borrow from friends? Make those arrangements now. If you're having something casual, you won't need a lot of time to plan. I just sent out an email for a girls' night out movie night at my house. I sent it almost three weeks in advance. That allows people enough time to get it on their calendar. I also asked that people bring a snack or drink to share because I wanted to make it as easy on me as possible. If you're planning something more elaborate, and if you're going to have it catered, you will need to allow for more time six to eight weeks usually. Once you've decided the basics, create your guest list. Send out invitations either electronically or on paper. I encourage you to do electronically because it saves you time and money and it's easy for people to RSVP. Here are some suggestions for electronic invitations. Evite, paperless post, ping with two G's, P-I-N-G-G, and punch bowl. When sending your invitation, be sure to include the dress code. If you want people to bring something, your address, and start and end times. Finally, make sure you have a plan for where you can put coats and umbrellas if necessary. Creating your party. Now that the details have been hammered out, it's time for fun. What is your menu going to look like? If you're going to hire a caterer, decide your theme or dishes that you would like to include or come up with an entire menu. If you will be doing the cooking, check out the farmer's market for what's in season. When considering your menu, think about flavors, textures, colors, and sensations. Decide on what drinks will be served. Make it easy with beer, wine, and one cocktail if you don't want to have an open bar. Do you want to come up with a signature drink? At my wedding, they created the Cybertini. It added a nice fun touch. Pick your music, flowers, and other decorations. Do you want to keep everything as it is, or do you need to rearrange anything for more guests? Have fun! If you want upbeat Zydeco music, have it! Do you prefer to do it yourself? Motivated to release clutter and finally get organized, but need some guidance? Do you have an idea of how to organize and declutter, but know a game plan would support you in achieving your goals? Our do-it-yourself organizing your space and decluttering plan Julie creates a customized step-by-step -step roadmap for you to organize your home and release clutter in all areas of your life. Find out more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Create a list of all the ingredients you will need based on your menu. I like to categorize everything for easier shopping, dairy, produce, spices, etc. Try and visit the grocery store on off hours. Also, Go through your menu and plan what can be prepared ahead of time. 
I like to plan three days out what I can make and break it down day by day. See if a friend or two can help you if you start to feel overwhelmed. The point of the party is to have fun and not be stressed. What are you going to wear? Do you want a new outfit and need to schedule time for shopping? Do you want to shop your girlfriend's closet? If you'll be having children, set up an area for them to play and a table for them to eat. Make sure to have a kid-friendly menu as well. Simplifying your entertainment. Party planning can be stressful, especially if you're going to have something elaborate. If you're becoming stressed, consider something simpler. Remember, you have a choice with what kind of party you want to have. Here are some suggestions. Invite fewer guests. Have a simpler menu. Do a potluck and have everyone bring a dish to share and you provide the main course. Be creative. Think outside the box. Maybe people have to bring a dish that begins with the same letter as their last name. The Caraccios will be bringing the cookies. Remember to have fun. If things don't go as planned, that's okay. Take a deep breath and let it go. You hosted the event to celebrate and have fun with people you care about. Getting together is about relaxing, being present, and enjoying the moment. Takeaways from today's podcast. Set a budget and commit to sticking to it. Plan for six to eight weeks for a more formal party, less time for a more informal one. Plan the type of event you want to have, the level of formality, the date and time, and if you want people to bring anything. Entertaining is about celebrating, connecting with loved ones, and having fun. Consider simplifying your event. Go out, clear the clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Ready to clear clutter and share your gifts with the world? The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step, so what step will you take today? Sign up for our newsletter and receive a free copy of our 10 Steps to Clearing Clutter. Julie Caraccio provides coaching, professional organizing and speaking, organizing classes, positive affirmations, and her unique How to Declutter Your Life course. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Subscribe to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out and join us next Tuesday at 1 p.m.